Okay, first thing is I need to clear my far side knee uh, in front of his bicep here. I'm going to dig an elbow inside his, inside his bicep here, put my opposite foot on the mat, hip escape, and get el uh, shin in front of bicep here. Okay, now I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to swim my near side leg over the top of his shoulder and then clear his face right here. Okay? Once I accomplish clearing his head, I'm going to find his elbow to keep elbow line and start to rotate, pivot, blocking my triangle on the angle body. Okay? Right here, what he's going to want to do is posture up. Okay? When he's posturing on my back, that's very bad for me. So I need to gain my posture and reduce his. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leg press forward and then sit up like so. Controlling elbow, controlling waist now. Okay. Once I accomplish that, I'm going to release my triangle, S my legs, and look to dump him on his hip. Okay, so I'm actually going to push away from his hip. I can push off the mat here. Okay, I'm going to keep scooting away, and he's going to try to follow me on his knees. His shoulders going to some torque right now, but eventually I'm going to couch him. So I'm here, then I couch him. Okay, he goes down, controlling elbow still. Now I'm going to connect him. Seatbelt grip, uh, a seatbelt grip underneath his arm, pit his neck, and elevate my hips. Now he steps on one leg for inside core position. Okay? As soon as that happens, that prevents problems. You can go knee cut, and I lose my entry to a lot of leg locks here. So I'm going to find heel, and find my reverse daily heel here. Okay, so I simply bite at the knee, hook my foot on the outside of his thigh, and now I have a nice great bind of his leg here. I'm going to make my way through this hole here. Still on one knee here. I'm going to sneak my hand through, I'm going to punch through a little knee. And I'm going to bicep curl and ball up my body. Okay, I really want to be as centripetal as possible, meaning I start out kind of extended here, and I ball myself up nice and tight here to get through this hole. Like so. Control second ankle. Swim, swim uh, second rear butterfly here. And I'm going to switch from ankles to hips. He's going to run away. I'm going to build my way up. He's using momentum. Put it in my seatbelt. And we're going to Alright guys, thanks for coming. Happy New Year everybody. We got some good got some good stuff for you guys. I feel like next I want to see you guys transform. By the time the 20 comes around, you'll be like different. You'll be like cyber. <laughs> <laughs>so we are actually doing something called shark tank if you don't know what shark tank is it's like literally drilling the worst positions ever so here we have our black belt uh patrick he's a really really cool guy um competed in um uh on an invitational uh i believe like evi and stuff he's a really he's a really really nice guy he's very very technical so right now we have ed um earlier we had um we have the doctor, the purple belt doctor in the house. So that was pretty cool. Um, as you can tell, like, I think Patrick is just like really working on his escapes. Like, um, you'll see like several times throughout these recordings, he'll let us get into triangles and he, he does this really cool escape from the omoplata. This is literally what he was teaching us earlier today, or, um, he was trying to show us and you can see, uh, Ed's going for like a... <laughs> A freaking toe hold right now it's so funny like he's going for a toe hold <laughs> so funny so uh <laughs> yeah and i i think it's really cool to see like how a black belt moves compared to a a white belt or blue belt um <clears throat> right now I, i'm not sure what belt ed is that i think he's either a white 
but he definitely rolls like a blue he's very technical and stuff like that so anyways there's the battle of the posture uh patrick is trying to get his arm out so he flips over turns over and gets out nice nice escape now it's uh me in the blue i'm actually not a blue belt but whatever um so i'm trying to gift wrap him right there so i'm trying to pass off that hand so i can just gift wrap them um but i never get it he doesn't let me do it unfortunately so um i'm not much of a mount player i don't really like mount because i just feel like it's so unstable right and so i i just i i go with my bread and butter and really go i'm going for a north south choke um that doesn't work uh i think like one thing that after watching these videos i realized that i kind of bail bail out really quickly out submissions and stuff like that so bam right there like this is where my head gets scratched actually because i literally uh scratch against his velcro right there and one good thing that patrick is doing he's actually framing he's framing his elbows inside and getting his knees inside and so literally um I think he like I'm not I'm blocking that knee so I don't get triangled but I lose it I'm like smiling I'm like fuck dude he <laughs> he passed me so we got the doctor in the house again um okay so it's really interesting to see higher level belts and see how they uh how they how they do right so basically what's happening now is Patrick is just framing and um he always like i was asking and no lie like doing the shark tank especially with a black belt it's kind of like how many school children can i beat up <laughs> right have you ever heard that like uh expression before it just felt like that because he's just running us through like time and time again and it's just so funny but yeah like um um He's going for the triangle. So right now he's going for the triangle uh, from Mount. I actually never really go for this. Like um, I, I just don't like triangles and Mount and stuff. Like sometimes I'll do a pop triangle, like if I'm in guard, but rarely do I ever do it from Mount. And it's really cool like uh, to see this kind of transition. Um, and they're laughing, right? They're, they're talking smack to each other. Um, and I wish I could see Patrick's arm because I would like, I think I, one thing I need to work on is like really work on my triangle escapes and stuff. But, um, yeah, like they're like, he's laughing because he's trying to lock in the triangle. He almost has it. Not all the way. Ideally, like you want the ankle behind the knee, but he's trying to lock up the triangle and stuff. And it looks like there's a hand fight right there. Cause if my guess right now is like Patrick is kind of uh, framing against his hip, you know, so and he's trying to TP, TP. <laughs> so um, I think that's what it's called. I can't remember. I'm really bad with names and I forget people's names too. Uh, Josh, fuck, dude. I This whole time I was trying to remember Josh's name and Patrick gets out. He limps arm out. Now we got Ed, Ed back in the game. Ooh, okay, here we go. He crawls up with his fingers, and that's something I try to do too. Like when I'm doing jujitsu, and then he limps back arm, uh, lim limps back out, and he has the frame, and he does he do almost mermaids out, which is really cool. Uh, and then tips him over. They're back into turtle position, sort of. Um, turtle position, turtle position. Technically, I think it's over, but I think they're still rolling. Just in, just rolling just now. He's working his side control and that's the thing you gotta realize like patrick is being so easy on us because he's like a black belt if he was competing you guaranteed we would get submitted really quick his goal is actually to submit oh, <laughs> he's telling me this his goal is to submit anyone under in less than two minutes i was like oh shit you know so it's pretty cool i think um ed's trying to set up for a arm bar, arm bar. um and armbar or actually know it it's actually kimura no armbar 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 and uh because like he could have oh nice hitchhiker pulls around and <laughs> gets back in his hurdle you can tell ed's like fuck my life bro and then we got alex the i call him korean zombie bro 
he always like it's so funny with Alex he always goes into wrist locks and I've been working a lot with Alex on side control he has a killer north south choke and uh right now he's north I think he's trying to go for a north south choke I think so he needs to get that arm out of the way but yeah um nice nice view of uh Patrick's crotch right there and um one of the things that um that Patrick is doing is looking into Alex, right? So that stops the north south choke. And you can tell what Patrick is trying to do. He's trying to flip him over to his, I think his left side. Yeah, left side. He's trying to, you see the frame. He has a, like with the other arm. So there's one arm with the overhook and the other one's framing against the chin and stuff like that. And he's just, that's how he's putting pressure. And it's, it's really tough, man. You can tell like he's creating space, creating space, creating space. And now he's like out of the choke at this point. And I'm pretty sure, uh, yeah. So Patrick, he starts bringing his knees in and starts, starts kind of like inverting. And then does he get the back? Does he get the back? I can't remember. I haven't seen, uh, it's been a while. This was like literally New Year's day. So yeah, man. Um, Oh, so cool. Then, is it a triangle? Oh, shit. He actually hits the triangle, man. So pretty funny. Uh, Yeah, so I guess like with Patrick, right? He's like trying all this experimental shit. And you can tell tell he's trying to do the, the same things over and over again just to drill over and over with us. We've got Blaze or Blase. No, Blaze. Um... This kid's super technical. He goes to jujitsu. I, I remember talking to him last week and he was telling me that he wanted to go to jujitsu like twice a week, uh, seven days a week. It's a pretty hard working kid, man. So you can tell he has an arm bar, potential arm bar right there. Uh, doesn't, yeah. And uh, I don't know what's happening. Arm bar, can't get, can't get the leg over the head. So it goes into alma plata. Oh, rolls over and same escape. And I have to move my camera right here, but it's pretty cool. And this is the entry that we we're, we were working on earlier in the day. So, um, try and control the hip, try and control the hip. He rolls out and then, uh, turtle, turtle, and hopefully into truck. <laughs> my favorite thing, Hefe or Jeff, uh, this, he's the old guy of the group and he is actually been he's been actually teaching me like a lot of cool things he's been teaching me like head and arm choke and stuff like that um really cool stuff um from side control and really helping me kind of drop my weight now this is what patrick does really well and if you ever play side control you get stuck here too it's when they control that bicep so you can tell patrick is controlling that um the right bicep of jeff and more spinning and shit uh, and I don't know what's happening. He's losing position, losing position. And what does Jeff got? He has uh, had an omoplata and rolled out. So we're back to Ed. So Ed part two, you know? And so this is like really crazy because I mean, I've edited some of this out because some of it was just like kind of boring, but you got to realize Patrick was going for at least like 20 or 30 minutes man non-stop and he was the one being like hey are you guys done are you guys done i want more i was like god damn this guy this guy is hella good you know what i mean can take out a whole whole crew of white belts what's up <laughs> you know and uh i think ed is gonna shoot for a triangle right now triangle 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 yep triangle and uh patrick sits up patrick and you can tell like patrick is just working different escapes from this position so he's like framing on the hip postures up um and uh ed tries to underhook underhook that and try and turn that corner he's trying to turn the corner try and turn the corner and oh he's trying to lock up that triangle man it's it's not completely locked up because you can tell there's a little bit of space there's a little bit of space like in the triangle and stuff like that so i don't know i'm just a fucking white belt bro i don't know shit but <laughs> it's like oh man frustrated and it gets it burns it burns out your legs doing it so i'm like literally skydiving right now skydiving 
Uh, I have one under, one over. I'm trying to creep up um, with the, and I'm trying, I'm trying to secure that just to have like, um, to go for a head and arm choke from that side actually. So I, I try to put my knee to shelf his um, hip, but I immediately bail and I shoot for a Kimura. Um, I'm like, literally, I, I wish I knew some better ways to rip up that Kimura, but literally we're just going around in circles. I bail and try to go for Americana. <laughs> Uh, bad exchange for me. I, sh I probably should have stuck with it. And I try to step over his head. Uh, and right here, the game starts changing. Once you get double, um, double bicep control, like Patrick has double bicep control. He starts framing more, framing more. And, um, it's just the small movements to create little movement. He's just hipping up. Watch that. Knee watch his knees too. And look, look at him. He uh, already has his frames under like almost like a prayer position that for us, the hobby talks about all the time. And it just creates a lot of space. Basically it pushes up and the knees go in and I'm dropping my hips so that he can't. Um, yeah. So I'm dropping my hips so that he can't like catch it. But again, I have a, I don't even know what I have. I don't think I have anything. I'm trying to turn over. Um, trying to get like some sort of arm submission like i i'm like i'm my game is mostly americana or kimuras and stuff like that so i'm, I'm going for a north south choke but he's getting his knees in he's getting his knees in and he basically sweeps me bro i'm just like fuck <laughs> i'm like fuck so crazy so that was a okay exchange um what can i say he's a black belt bro He's down for more. Hefe is back in the game and he gets mount. And let's see what happens. Well, we all know what happens. Like we all, we all know what happens. Patrick is going to find a way out, but it's kind of cool. Like one thing I, as I'm watching this too, I'm realizing how much a black belt their their hips move so much. He, there's so many micro movements. It's not just like one big movement. And I think that's a thing like for us white belts, like we learned a technique and we just like try it once and it doesn't work out and we just give up you know like that's that's what it's like at the white, like beginner white belt level like i'm a i would say i'm probably a higher white belt but like one thing i, I i'm trying to do is like i know the escapes i know the moves what i need to do is just like uh create kazushi you know and we got the muda model guy um a, the korean model right here and uh this, I think when I watched this, this was a pretty decent ex exchange. He's really, really, really strong. Um, and, but he's he's still, still sort of new from what I remember. I don't know. I don't know how long he's been training. I just think a few months. But I think he's going to be a beast later. And you can tell he's trying to... He's, def this, he's definitely an Americana guy. Like, dude, you can see him fishing for the Americana. Americana right here. Patrick flirts with it. He like keeps on pressuring up, keeps on pressuring up. And surprisingly for me, I actually don't know how to defend Americanos that well other than straighten out the arm and stuff like that. So Patrick is like so chillant. He does not give a fuck. He's like, oh, okay, I got this. <laughs> like it's like whatever, not a big deal. And he keeps on like moving around, moving around. And I wonder what happens next. Oh, yep. Arm bar. And that was like, that's a, like, honestly, um, I forgot who was talking. Um, Peter, the guy from teach me grappling, he was like saying the other day, like, don't go for bad exchanges. And I would say that's a pretty bad exchange, but that was really cool. Uh, loses has a, he should, he should have went for Omo Plata at, the, uh, at this point, but I don't know what he's doing going for another triangle yeah that's the thing oh nice 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 and locked up i wonder how patrick gets out we all know how he gets out so he's framing against the hip i think and uh posturing up um and yeah like and one thing i've been learning about triangles too like from what uh he's loosening up the triangle you can tell the triangle is not completely tight and one thing i've been learning about triangles is that uh, with triangles, like it's not just like one burst of energy, you clamp down and then pass out. It's actually a slow progression and you need to like, it's a choke over time. It's almost like Diablo 2 and Poison 
poison dagger bro if you played d2 back in the day so right now it's me back in the game um he's bumping me bumping me and does such a great job of like stripping my hooks and i i abort i'm just like you know mount is not my thing i like i like uh side control and my game usually is like i'll step over like depending how their position is i'll step over the head i'm not sure if i step over the head this time but oh man he got the bicep control and i don't know what to do once like they have bicep control over me and once they're controlling my top arm i just kind of like limp i try to limp arm out but as soon as i limp arm out that's when he collects his legs and uh, catches my upper body man so i'm like literally trying not to lose the position trying not to lose the position uh, my hips are above the ground he has a strong frame and again north south position and uh oh yeah so i'm setting up a kimura i like when i when i usually put my right hand against the hip I'm usually setting up a Kimura um, and waiting, waiting them to walk through and stuff like that. So keeps on bumping the hip, bumping the hip, bumping the hip, trying to create uh, some chaos or some motion in me. And bam, he gets those frames again. I'm like, fuck, I don't know how to get rid of it. You know, I'm just like, oh, man. So I don't know if anybody knows how to get get rid of that like hook. I, I try I try to sneak I sneak my I try to sneak my shin in and staple it, but it doesn't work. And he still has that um he still has two two on one on my arm. And and let's see what's happening. Uh, he stands up. And at this point, I should have just aborted and taken the taken the back. I was I was too greedy. You know, like I like at that point point I should have just taken the back at that point, but I fucked up here and we have a little exchange and I get flipped over. I'm just like fuck. <laughs> Good shit. Good shit.